Hello, it's the first day of autumn here and so I decided I would make a tutorial on one of the most loved jazz classics, the autumn leaves. Now this arrangement has been done to suit small harps so anything from 25 strings upwards and there's no lever changes at all so hopefully it will work for you. So we're going to jump in, it's going to go like this. So our right hand is going to begin with a four note sequence. We're going to put fourth finger on C, third on D, second on E, and then thumb up onto A. And we're going to play up this shape. So four, three, two. And before we play the thumb, then set on two notes below it. We're going to set on our third finger on the C and the second on E and play it as a chord. So again, we'll roll that chord. So. So we're going up that shape, so C, D, E, A, and then chord at the top. So one, and two, and three. Okay, now we're going to do exactly the same thing, but one note lower. So we set on B, C, D, and thumb on G this time. And we're going to play up it, and then again we'll play a chord. So four, three, Two, and then chord of B, D, G. Okay, so let's do that again. So B, C, D, G, and then find the chord. Okay, so let's go from the start up to there. So one and two and three. And two. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing one more time one more note down so now we're starting on a so a b c and then f at the top and we're going to go four three two and again we've got a chord of a c f okay so three times exactly the same thing just a note lower each time so let's go from the first time starting on c d e a so one and two and three times in a row. Now our next little bit we're going to put fourth finger on G and thumb up onto E okay so G and E and we're going to go four, one, and then we're going to play D E okay so it's G E D E okay let's find that again and, and you can see I'm placing everything in advance so the four and the one on then I put the second on before I play that thumb, then replace the thumb, okay? So that's our first four phrases. Let's try from the start there. So one and two and three. And two and three. And two. So that's our first phrases. Then we're going to start off exactly the same way. So back to C, D, E, A. 
and two and three on one note down and two and a note lower again okay. and then for the end we're going to set on D and F and we're going to play up that and then down E C okay and for finger angle two one two three again setting in advance so I set on the two and the one and then before I play the one I reset the two and the three on okay so let's try it from the halfway point up to there so from where we repeat the C D E and A if you're following along with the music this is bar eight so one and two and three Two and wait, 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 and then D F E C. Okay, and then to finish off, we're going to do two little chords. So a chord of F and A, and then one note lower, E and G. So to fit that in, from the D, F, it'll go, then chord and chord, okay? So let's try all of our right hand right from the beginning, okay? So one and two and three. Down one. Wait. Again, down one. Then the G E. Wait. Then like the start. Wait. 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 And now D F E C. And the two chords. So practice that right hand, make sure you're confident with that, and then we'll move on to the left hand for that first part. The left hand for the first half is going to begin on F, C, and F. Okay, so a 4 2 1 shape, 1 5 8, it's also known as, so F, C, F. And we're going to play up that. And then before we play that thumb, set your second finger onto E and your three and four onto D and B. So it's like we're going to come down a scale, but you're missing out the C's. Okay, so we've gone F, C, then set on those other fingers, and we're going to go F, E, and then play the three and four as a chord. Okay, so it'll sound like this. down the scale and have a chord. Okay, ready and okay, let's find that one again. So E B E E B E D and then A C chord. Okay? So let's go from the start from the F C F ready and So D, A, D cross under, D, G, F. And again, and. Great. And then our fourth pattern is going to go C, G, and D at the top. Here we go. Third finger now, 
and set on an E triad shape, so E, G, B. And we play the E on its own, and then the top two as a chord. Okay, so that pattern together will go four, two, one, three, two, one. Again. Okay. So let's go from the start of the left hand to there. So starting on F, C, F, three and four and. in there and that's what gives it this sort of jazzy feel. Let's play it one more time. Three and four and F, C, F, G, then E, B, E. And down to the chord. D, A, C, D, G, F chord, and then C, G, D, to the triad shape. hands together. The left hand is going to start when we play the chord in our right hand. So the good news is not very many notes actually go together. It's just that first chord comes with the first note and other than that everything is separate. So ready and okay let's do that again and down one note and do exactly the same. So ready and. Good, so let's try those first two phrases together. So one, two, three. This is where we've got the pattern that starts on the D, A, and C. And this one's going to go. So again, the only note that comes together is the very first left hand note. So. Okay. And then we've got the G, E, D, E. And as we play the second of those E's, that's when we'll start our left hand. So. So let's do that again. Great. So let's try from the start there. Two and three. is exactly the same. So we go back to Okay, all of that is exactly the same as we had before. So then we've just got one new left hand bar to learn. Instead of going Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to play C, G, and then F, A, and then back to C, okay? So C, G, F, A, C, okay? Now, to fit that with the right hand, in the right hand, we've got the, okay? And so our Cs are going to come together, Cs, then the F and A chord, comes with F in the left hand, and the E and G chord comes with the C. Okay, so that's the most involved part that we've had really in this first half. So I'll do it again. 
proceeds together. Let's go from the pick up to the second half of this first part. So this is from bar eight, if you're following along with the sheet music. So one and two and three. <laughs> So let's try the entire piece right from the beginning now. So one and two and three. <laughs> So practice that until you're confident with it and then we'll move on to the second half. The right hand for the second part starts with our second finger on C and our thumb on D. And we're going to play the C twice and then put your second and third finger onto F and A and play that as a rolled chord. Okay, so it's C, C chord. Okay, again. And then we're going to go G, D fingers three and one so three one okay so from the two c's one and two and three and great then set on a little three note scale of c d and e and we're going to start with second finger we're going to go two and then three two so two three two and then as you play this thumb, also put your second and third finger on G and B and play that as a chord. Okay, so we've got... Okay, so let's go from the start to the second half to there. Three and four and C, C, chord, D, G. Then two, three, two, chord. Great, one more time. Two and three and... We're going to go similar shape. So set two, three on E and D. And we're going to go E, D, E, and then up to F. Okay, so two, three, two, one. Okay, one more time. E, D, E, F. Okay. And then it's a B octave with four and one. And down the scale to G. So it's B, B, A, G. And I'm going four, one, two, three. Okay? So let's go from the start of the second half to there. Three and four and two, two, chord, G, D, then D, C, and chord, two, and. Wait, wait, then the octave. Excellent. And after we've done that octave, we're going to play two little chords. So the first one is going to be a B and a D together, and then a G and a C. Okay? Okay, so let's try from the octave. Two and three. Great. So then, moving on, set your second finger on G and your thumb on A. And we're going to go, okay, so it's G, G, A, A, F, F, playing each one twice, fingers, two, two, one, one, two, two, okay, ready, and, and then we have to jump down and find a chord shape, which is F, C, D, and we'll play that rolled, 
Okay, so we're playing that again. Okay, let's go from the high G and. And again. G, G, A, A, F, F chord. So you might need to practice going from that F to the chord and finding that quickly. Okay? And then we're going to go A, G. Okay, and you've got a big long weight on that G. So let's go from the two Gs. Three and four and. Then chord, then A, G. Excellent. And to finish off, we're going to go C, F. And then E, D. Okay, so it's C, F. D, and you can join all that if you go two, one, two, three. Okay, that's the nicest fingering there. And then we're going to go E, G, and a chord of E, G, C. Okay, so E, G, chord, and again. Okay, so let's go from the C, F to the end. One and two. G. Great, same again. Two and three and four. Great. So let's go from bar 24 in the music. This is where we've got the two G's in a row. There, okay. So two and three and then the chord, A, G, wait, 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 C, F, E, D, okay, so let's go from the start of the second half now, so one, two, three. Prepare the octave, chord, then G, G, A, G, wait, wait, C, F, okay, so make sure you're confident with that right hand and then we'll move on to the left hand. Our left hand for the second half is going to begin with a chord of D, A, and C. So I do this with four, two, and one. And it's going to be rippled. Okay? So D, A, C. Then we're going to play a G on its own. I play that with second finger. So we've got chord, then G, then. And then we're going to run up the shape. We're going to go. is this C G D and I set that with four two one and then we're going to cross under onto E and G so okay I'll do that again make sure you get a nice connecting cross under there okay so let's go from the start of the second half to there so we've got the chord then G and then the big C chord The right hand. We're going to play the chords in each hand at the same time. Okay, so let's do that again. Ready, Anne. And then the G is going to go in the space. Okay, so it'll be. And then we play our big C chord as we play the chord in the right hand. So it'll sound like this. Let's go from the start of that line. Two and three and. Then the G. And the big C chord. Okay. One more time. Two and three and. Set on a shape which is F, C, F. 
and we're going to go play up this and then back down to a chord of B and D. So this is just like we had in the first half. That shape. Okay, so F, C, F, E, and then B, D chord. Okay, and then we're going to set on E, B, and D. And we're going to play four, two, one, two, and then a fifth of A and E. Okay, so that'll like it. Okay. So let's go from the F, C, F, three, and four, and then E, B, D. Great. So the way that that fits together with the right hand is we've gone and when you play that F in the right hand that's when our left hand starts so okay let me say that again and then we've got the octave and as we play this G that's when our left hand is going to start and then we've got these two chords so they come here with the D, with the one of B and D. And then the A and E comes with the C and G in the right hand. Okay, so we get that nice seventh sound. So let's go from the octave. So one and two and three. So let's now play it from the start of the second half up to there. So one and two and three and. Great, one more time. One, two, three. Chord, then chord, G. Okay, so to fit that hands together from the G G A A, the chord in left hand comes when we play the A. So it's G G then chord, and then we end up with the chord in both hands. So G C D in the left hand, and then the right hand we've got F. CD. So they're almost the same, just one's got G at the bottom, one's got F at the bottom. And we're going to ripple right up that. Okay, hear that lovely crunchiness in that. Good. And then we've got our G in this one. So, good. So let's go from the two Gs. One, two, three. Great. And then in the right hand, we go. A, G. And as we play that G in left hand, we're going to go Okay, so it's a little pattern. We start on C, G then F, G E, G D. Okay, so C, G, F, G E, G, D. Okay, so we've gone from the A to the G and that starts with the C in the left hand. So Good, and again, one and two. Great. So let's go from the two Gs. One, two, three. Yeah, fantastic. Good, so let's go from the start of the second half up to there. 
One, two, three. <laughs> So, just last little bit, we've got an FCF in the left hand. Okay, just a one, five, eight. And then a chord of G, D, F. And we recall that one. So it's going to be F, C, F, then chord. Okay, so that's going to fit like this. So the two Fs together. And then this chord comes with the D. Okay, I'll do that again. Okay, we've got... And then we're going to have a big final chord. So let's do that one more time. So one and two. So now the very final chord. So in the right hand we've got E, G, C. And as we play that, we're going to play C and G in the left hand. So it's going to go, okay, so C, G. And then we're going to have a little pattern that's going to run up the harp. So in your right hand, find D, E, F, B. Okay, D, E, F, B. And then find exactly the same pattern with your left hand. An octave higher, okay? So we've gone C, G, D, E. Left, left, right, 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 right. And then we're going to cross over our right one more time and finish on the little scale of D, E, F. Okay, so let's do it right from the bottom. So C, G, then D, E, F, B. Okay, so that's our nice jazz chord to finish. So that ending will sound like this. You can do a nice slow down on that, okay? So let's now go from the midpoint all the way up to the end. So we'll go from G, G, A, A, okay? One, two, three. right from the start of the second half now. So one, two, three. So practice that second half and then we'll put the whole thing together. Let's finish off now by playing from the start right through to the end. So.
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed learning this fantastic jazz standard. If you want to get the sheet music, you can find it on my website where there's also lots of other resources. I've also got a blog where I give weekly harp tips. And if you enjoy learning in this way, then I have a Patreon subscription site where for $5 a month, you get access to four video lessons plus sheet music. So thank you very much. Please subscribe and we'll see you again soon for another lesson.